Hi, I'm Jaap Favier from Forrester Research. My role in Forrester is that I am in charge of marketing and customer experience research in Europe with a team that is based in Paris, London, Amsterdam and Frankfurt. I had the pleasure of being here at Interact, the IAB Europe conference in Brussels and to speak there about social computing. Social computing uh, is for Forrester the direction where the internet and technology is taking the world. Consumers are stopping uh, to listen to companies. They don't trust ads anymore. They don't trust what is being given to them through media. Who they do trust are other consumers and that's who they are communicating with. The result of that is that brand loyalty is going down. For brand companies, for marketers, for advertisers to still be, remain relevant to the communities that are forming by these active consumers, they have to engage with four different levels of active consumers in these communities. On the highest level with creators who shoot YouTube videos or write blogs. On the second level with critics who turn that creation of a single man into a wisdom of crowd. On the third level with collectors who collect information on behalf of the community, are very in touch with what a community needs and pass on the relevant information while they filter out the non-relevant information. Eventually to the largest proportion of that community, the couch potatoes, the passive consumers who still listen to an extent to push marketing, but are much more in tune and trusting of the information passed on by the collectors. Companies that do that well uh, are blogging, um, have started a dialogue with consumers, or at the highest level, they offer a platform to creators to make uh, new products, to define new services, and in the company, Nike, Adidas, Lego, quite a few companies are then actually making these products for them. For marketers, to be successful in that new world, which is rapidly growing in the next five years, they have to forget three rules. Rule number one, content is king. Content is not king. Content is a way to get in touch with consumers. Contact is king. Second rule that is wrong is the media is the message. The medium is the message. You are not getting in touch with these consumers by simply having a CEO that blogs or by putting your product in Second Life. That's passive. The real message is the response. The response is the message. What do you get from communities, from the critics, from the creators? That is what is important. And why is that important? Because ultimately, they call the shots. They are in charge of your success. They pay you, they define your products, and they tell their friends and their family and anybody who wants to listen to their blogs and their YouTube videos what is important. And that's the new world, the world of social computing that I'm very passionate about. My whole team, the whole company is passionate about. That's the future of the internet. So ask to answer three questions. What do I think about the confidence of advertisers in interactive media? I think that's completely justified. Um, we do many tests with many of our clients to see what the right media mix is. And invariably, right now in 2007, the right mix is between 15% and 25% to be spent on online media. Right now, only 5% is being spent, so there is a long way to grow, and it's absolutely justified to have a lot of confidence in online media. Just spend three times more than you do now. That's one question. Question number two that I'm asked to answer is, what do you think will be the most relevant issue in the online industry next year? I think the most important issue is how to mix user-generated content with professional content on YouTube, on MySpace, on LiveSpaces, at Google, there's tons of user-generated content, which is actually, if you look at the statistics, more relevant to consumers than advertising. So if you want to make use of that groundswell of user-generated content in your advertising, you have to combine that with professional content and offer platforms 
where you can do that and where consumers actually can do that as well. The third question that was asked to me is how do you see the global advertising picture within five years? The global advertising picture um, is going to change completely in the next five years, um, is what I believe. I think that push marketing, sending messages to uh, the audience, to, to, your, to target consumers, is actually going to go down step by step and will be replaced by platforms offered by creative people who are now shooting YouTube videos um, and are then invited to work with companies to develop new concepts, new products, new services, and new messages. That is where it's going, from push to pull in the next five years. It's not going to evolve. Uh, our research shows that every community, and, and that could be um, an old people's home, um, consists for 7% of creators, people who are creative and come up with new ideas and, and, and communicate those, um, with um, critics who take that idea and enhance it and, and help the creators turn it into a wisdom of crowd, uh, collectors who then take that information and offer it to the more passive part of the, of, of the community which we call the, the couch potatoes. You see that ratio in every community. What will change however is right now uh, we believe that only about 25% of creators and critics are active. We don't believe that, we have actually measured that. And I believe that more creators will use the tools that are available online, um, which could be um, simple tools like YouTube, um, or it could be complicated tools like Second Life. We'll start to use those more and more to communicate with each other. So I think the communities, the change will be that they will become more active the ratio and the roles will stay the same. Well, Forrester as a company, we are a business to business company. Uh, we do research and we offer that to, to businesses who want to communicate with consumers and use technology for that, like the internet or mobile phones or interactive television. Um, we ourselves um, have stopped, for instance, doing print reports. Everything that we do is published online. People can download it, a PDF, etc. So we already use new media only. Um, however, um, we have started to offer uh, clients a choice. They, they can tell us, we want you to research this, um, write a report about this topic, they can vote about it, and then we'll write it. We actually guarantee that it will be written in 30 days after they request it. That's one thing, so we, they, they vote what we write, which is great, and it's very successful. Another thing that we do is we offer uh, leadership boards where our clients come together, we facilitate that, come together and share each other's problems and share each other's best practices and case studies and how they have solved um, these problems in, in a closed environment within the network of peers that, that they have. And that there's enormous demand for doing that. We're doing that both online, we're doing that offline. Um, or ourselves blogging, many analysts have their own blog, where, which is more of a uh, holistic way of finding opinions and information and sharing that, rather than an analyst saying, okay, I'm smart, this is what you have to think, which is kind of what we do in reports. Um, it's, I have a question and let's talk about that and see if we collectively, with everybody who joins in the discussion forums, in the blogs, let's see if we can collectively come up with the right solution. And it, we're, what we're trying to do is find the right balance between those two things, the wisdom of crowds and the analyst's brain.